What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. It's a very, very slow tech news day today. It's the weekend and we're, again, we're in that middle season where there isn't usually a ton of stuff going on because we're in between devices. It's a little too far out uh, for a lot of information to be coming out about the next generation of devices. So again, we're kind of in this middle section at times or at days and uh, I went searching found some stuff on reddit that I was like you know what I want to make some videos about that so both things are going to be about the camera and then we'll answer your questions at the end of the story end of the news so without that let's get into the tech news stories of the day uh, so again everything that we're going to do is going to be inside of the camera so every so very easy to, to do this so what we're going to do is open up your camera and the first thing I'm going to show you is how to take raw photos. You might have heard this being a new feature within the last couple of you know updates for Samsung Galaxy devices and I'm going to show you how exactly to do it. So the first thing you want to do is go into the gear at the top left and go into settings. Let me just take a step back. Go into settings, click that gear and then you're looking for picture formats. Tap on picture formats, change it to raw copies. You're gonna add it basically. So it's not gonna change all your photos to raw, which means that basically they're not compressed. JPEGs is what they're usually saved as. Compress the photo so that it does lose a little bit of quality. You might not notice it, but if you keep it as a, a, a full raw photo, then you're gonna get a, a much higher quality photo that you can go in there and edit and you know zoom in or do whatever kinds you want to it. Hit the back button after you turn that on, hit the back button again, and then next you want to go into pro mode. If you don't see pro mode at the bottom here, just hit more and then go to pro. And when you take a photo with pro mode, because this is the only mode it works in, it's going to save two copies. One as a JPG, one as a raw file, and I'll show you that in a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a photo here real quick. Bam! Not a great photo, but a photo nonetheless. And when I open up my photos, I'm gonna see two of the same photos so I can swipe through and there you go. And you can look at the differences because if you hit the three dots in the bottom right and then go into details, you can see that this first one is 2.89 megabytes. And then we're gonna to go to the next one, which is this one. And we're gonna hit the three dots and we're gonna to go to details. And you see this one's 23 meg. So the 23 meg one is the raw one. And the one that is two megabytes, that one is the JPG. So that's how you take a raw photo. You end up with two copies, um, which can be a pain in the butt, I guess, if you look at it that way. But ultimately you get a very a, a, an uncompressed image with your camera if you wanna take some, or at least try to take some crazy photos. And the last little trick I wanna show you is when you take a photo, maybe you wanna downsize it for whatever reason. You wanna reduce the quality or the resolution of the photo. I'm gonna walk you through a way to do that. From what I remember, I, I could have swore there used to be a way when you take a photo that you could ultimately choose like a lower resolution photo. I didn't see that in the options anymore. So the option would be to do it in the gallery app. So open up your gallery app, go into the photo in question, hit the pencil, and then hit the three dots on the right hand side, and then go to resize. You're gonna see resize at the bottom, tap that and you can do this anything from 20%, 40%, 60%, 80% quality uh, and from there and like so say if I wanted it to be 20% I'll hit that and then hit done and then hit save at the top right and there you go now my, my photo is a lot smaller I'll go in there and go to details and you can see that the photo is now 100 KB rather than being two or three megabytes. So there you guys go those are your tips and tricks for the day your question of the day is what is your favorite little tip or trick for the camera leave it in the comments down below one that you kind of use a lot let us know. Uh, with that said, let's get to the Q&A portion of the video and drop that beam. First question comes from Jonathan Oren, who says, I used good luck home up when I use the task manager stack feature. It, yeah, it defaults original defaults to original settings. I'm using S22 Ultra 4.1. And yes, it's updated to the recent update. Can you tell me if you have experienced this for defaults back and how to fix it? All right, so we're gonna go into home up, go to the bottom, turn it on obviously, and then go to task manager, and then turn this on, and then you said you use stack. So now I have it set to stack. Hopefully you can see that. You hit my home button. I'm gonna just close all my apps. You can see it is set to stack. Close it, 
I'm gonna open up some apps here. I'll open up my calculator. I'll open up Chrome. I'll open up Google Play Store. And we're gonna go hit that. And it's still set to stack. So mine still works. Um, I guess I would maybe delete the Home Up app and then reinstall it and see if that fixes it. Uh, Dutch will go to the, is asking, has anyone been having issues with their Z Fold 3 with the fingerprint sensor since the latest? No, I haven't had any issues with the fingerprint sensor at all. Works just as good as it did before. Um, so no issues for me. Keenan Jackson says, do you know when Android 12L is coming out and do you think it will improve the experience on the Fold 3? Um, it should be coming out, I believe this summer. Will Samsung get it this summer? I don't think so. I would guess they'll probably get it in the fall or maybe towards the end end of the summer. And then will it make the experience better? Means to be seen. I mean, it's already pretty good, I feel like, but I mean, maybe they'll add a feature or two here, but I think you're gonna have most of the features already. And our last question from Jonathan Oren, what do you think about smartphone manufacturers making two options for the same phone? One has a thicker phone with a bigger battery, the one is a thinner phone with the same battery that they have in most phones. Um, I think that's a great idea. I would, it, it's a great, okay, I think it's a great idea. Is it, good, is it a good idea for the company to do that? Probably not because they have to make two devices with two SKUs that are exactly the same one with the bigger battery, one thicker, one skinnier with a smaller battery. That's where it comes into play. And I agree, some people are gonna want one or the other, but I, I don't think it would be, it just wouldn't be good for the company, I would guess. So I'd say no, not a good idea, but I, I absolutely love the idea. Thank you so much for your questions. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the word question as the first word, and we'll see you down the road. Peace.